Hi everyone, my name is Fredrik Wermling. I have a research group at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, Sweden. Um, and in this video, I'm very rapidly going to show you the demo feature of Greenlisted. And as you should probably know by now, by this series of videos about Greenlisted, um, Greenlisted is a software that we use to design custom CRISPR scripts. Right, so we go to the demo function here, and as you can see, there are two uh, suggestions for making. Um, for, for a demo demonstration. So you start with the first one using the included Gecko version 2 reference library. So you start them by choosing Gecko version 2 library, boom. For example, the human A plus B library, there it is. Copy the content of the demo input example text file out here. So we click that one, it comes up here. We, oops, disappear, do it again. And I just copy this one. Paste it in here uh, in the input box, and then you press the run button like that. Um, and this is, of course, a very low complex um, list of genes. There's very few of them, so um, this is fast. So you press download result. As you know by now, these you get a couple of different output files. Uh, user input parameters contains basically all the information that you have. Input. The not found list is uh, telling you which genes it couldn't found, find in this reference library, so very importantly. So then you can go and see are these genes, do they have alternative names, uh, are they important for you? Um, if they are important and they don't have any alternative names um, that, that the reference library could be using, you could take another reference library and upload these, these or input these genes uh, if, if they're important for you. Um, there's a compat output list, and here you see, so this is basically what uh, the list, the, the library contains, this, uh, that the, the software is suggesting, so six uh, gRNAs for IL-2, six for IL-4, six for IL-6, etc. Um, as it is with text files, as we talked about, um, they could be, look a little bit confusing, but if you copy it and you go to Excel, and you just paste it, um, you'll see that it kind of lines up in columns, uh, which makes it more easy to, to interpret. So I do six journeys, etc. And then the main output list is this one, as you know, you can take it, you can copy it, you go to uh, Excel, and then you have more information here. And as, as you talked about before, the GRNA sequences with adapters, this is the column that you want to use for, or that you want to send to the company that will synthesize these. And of course here we didn't specify any adapters, so there's no adapters here, but these are basically the, the, the spacer sequences. Okay, so that was using the, um, the Gecko library. So let's do a new job here, looking at demo, using another reference library. So download a sample reference library, demo sources text here. So here that one comes. Uh, upload the de this demo source list text under upload reference library. So this one that we just uploaded. So you find here upload a reference library. Uh, here it says Velfi, which is Swedish for choose file. So I'm guessing that your your browser will identify your language preference and, and, and write it here in the, in the correct uh, in a way that you understand. Um, uh, two minor comments first before doing this. First of all, this. The, the file that you upload here must be tab delimited text file, otherwise the software will not work. So an Excel file, you can't uh, work with, you can upload an Excel file, but if you have an Excel file, you can save it as a tab delimited text file. Importantly, you have to close the Excel file uh, then before uploading the text, the uh, tab delimited text file. Anyway, not, not very complicated. Um, and the second thing I want to emphasize is that this, this, this reference library that I just downloaded now, the demo source list, it is, as it says, says here, it contains only a few genes and cannot be used to design a functional library as the GNA sequences and scores are random. But let's do it. So this is for demos. So here is the demo source list. It came in the download file. Um, you can see down here it's, it's showing you um, progress. And now it's done. So this file has been uploaded and ready to be processed. And importantly, this has to, this information has to occur before you press run up here, because otherwise the software don't know how to, what to do. Um, and now you saw it was very fast, but 
And if you are uploading a very complex reference library, this could take time. If your internet connection is bad, this will take time. So you have to wait for it. And at least on my computer, it's down in the, in the left corner. There is a, um, it, it takes up, it shows you how many percentage it uploads. All right, so it's, we upload the demo source list like that. Set the gene ID column to one. So we can actually just have a brief look at this list. So you see here there's a G name. So column one contains the G name. Column two contains the suggested GRNA sequence. And actually column three contains a score in this case. So set the gene ID column to one as the first column is the, of, the, of this ref, reference library contains the gene ID. So here we put one. Set the GRNA column to two as the second column of this reference library contains the GRNA sequences. So two like that. And it actually doesn't suggest here to use ranking, but we, we know, right, that there was a score a ranking possibility in the column three, so we can include that if we want or not. Uh, download an example of a typical input query, down, create demo input example text here. So this we've already done, but we can do it again. We copy the genes, we paste them in the input box. Um, you could consider now if you want to use ranking. As mentioned, we, we did allow for that. There was a rank, we saw there was a ranking possibility in there. Um, I, I say this several times, but I want to emphasize that the green list does not do any ranking for you. It's just based on if there is a ranking um, or as a score attributed to the different GRNAs in the uh, reference library. Many of them has that um, or have. Um, and typically what we would do is to have, um, as you saw in this reference library, there were 10, 15 different GRNA suggested for each gene, but usually we would say, okay, we want to have, let's say five GRNAs uh, per gene, uh, and we want the ones with the highest score. So limit to top five. You can just mention here ranking order uh, is a bit confusing. It could be descending or, uh, or ascending. Descending is the default meaning, um, which is what you oftentimes would have meaning that um, the higher number is the better number, basically. So if you have a score from zero to 100, 100 would be considered the best and zero would be considered the, the worst. Um, and you just need to tell the software so it understands what, what is better than what. Um, if you would have a situation where actually the, uh, a lower number is better, let's say it's a p-value or something, you would say ascending. And then when you say limit to top five, the software would understand, okay, we want to have the five lowest number. But in this case, we use descending, so uh, limit to top five in this case then tells the software to take the five GRNAs that has the highest score. Um, we could just for sake of it put in some adapter sequence here in randomly. Um, and why not? Why do we add it? Put in a, a demo. Uh, output file here and then we press run now it's a little bit more complex as you you saw but it's still pretty fast the download result comes up here you saw that the file then is called demo these are called demo because that's what we name gave them input uh, parameters here this is what you uh, what we uploaded the information now you, this cut shortlist appears, um, and cut shortlist basically defines that uh, we asked for five GRNAs per gene, right? but in the cut shortlist there will be appear genes that the software were not able to uh, give attribute five GRNAs to. So IL two here. So actually, let's let's copy this and go to paste it in Excel instead, so it's easier to follow. So. Uh, we asked for five journeys, but IL2, it only found one journey for SIP4810, it only found two, etc. So at this library, we were actually able to attribute some journeys to these, um, these genes, but not the five that we were asking for. So then we have the ability or the possibility to kind of evaluate this. Do we need more? Probably you want to use more than one at least. Um, so then you could go into a different reference library, for example. All right, uh, so where were we? We're here. 
compact list shows us yeah this is the the, the library that we really just designed for us and as mentioned copy this list go back to excel paste oops paste it here um and then as mentioned you will see that the most important there's a lot of information here but the most important one is the is this one then the gRNA sequence with adapters so here you see that this is the gRNA and the adapters so this one you would copy send it to the company for for synthesis uh, all right so this was the um short video about how to use the demo feature of greenlisted and i should put up this <laughs> and thank you for watching uh, and please have a look at other uh, videos also.